Hey guys, um, a little bored right now. We've got all these stupid freaking fires going on here in Oregon. Um, wife's not hungry. I don't want to cook, but I do have MREs. So, um, I just cracked it open. I haven't actually looked to see what's inside. This is a menu 16 rib shape barbecue flavored pork patty. So let's pull it out and see what we got. All right. I don't expect this video to go very smooth, but we'll see what happens here. All right, so first thing I found, this feels like it's going to be my pork patty. A little squishy. All right. The cardboard to help with the heater and this Santa Fe rice and beans who doesn't like rice and beans that's gonna be another heater all right we got our MRE heater so we've got the MRE heater there. This I haven't seen before. Cool mints with caffeine. Ooh, caffeine mints. There's a long way, especially if you need some energy. Santa Fe rice and beans, ingredients and whatnot. Um, beverage based powder, orange. We've got water, so we'll give it a shot. What is this? Oh, <laughs> beef snack. Looks like they're trying to make it look like jerky. Maybe it is, we'll see what happens. And then I'm assuming it's some sort of cracker or bread, right? Because that's usually what happens. Uh, wheat snack bread twin pack. Okay. See how that goes. Barbecue sauce. That makes sense since we're having barbecue rib shaped pork patty and peanut butter. Okay, so we got peanut butter to go with our twin pack. Need to massage this real good. Got our spoon. And then, ooh, grape jelly. So we can make a PB&J. All right. And then our little packet. We've got a beverage pa beverage based lemonade, ass wipe, salt, and a moist towelette. And of course, everybody's favorite, shit licks. So, I'm going to pause it and start to get stuff ready. All right, so now we've got our heater open. We're going to take our fake rib and throw it in here. Huh, maybe. Sometimes you got to bend the corners. I don't want to get past the actual heater element. All right. We've got your heater line right here. I got a cup of water. Let's see if I can do it without overfilling it. Answer is unequivocally no. Pour a little more out. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot already. All right. So we got uh, the heater on this side, the food on this side. So I am going to fold that over. Oop, where's my sleeve? 
Open up my sleeve. It's kind of like a hot pocket sleeve. Without the new fancy bottom that they've been using. All right. Slip it on over. Ooh, that gets hot pretty fast. I wonder if I can fit my Santa Fe rice and beans in between the cardboard and the heater. Maybe try this side. There we go. All right, so we're gonna slide that in. Got both of them in there. And we're just gonna set this down and leave it at a little bit of a slant so that it keeps uh, water at the heater. I'll do that right here. Hold on a sec. All right, so the food's been going for a few minutes. Um, now we're gonna do our beverage powder. Which in my experience does not like to mix well, but I actually haven't had one out of this package before, so maybe we'll get lucky. So there we go. Open our spoon, which we will be using to eat our MRE. Okay, let that settle for a minute and then we'll go back to it. All right, so we got our MRE. Everything feels real hot, actually. Oh yeah, okay, so pulling out our rice and beans, the Santa Fe. All right, we'll chuck that. And pulling out our, it's so funny to me, rib-shaped barbecue pork patty. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> That's all nice and hot. And they also have these nice little tear points to make it easy. All right, so I'm going to let this cool down for just a minute. Stir the drink. I'll be right back. All right, so... We've got our juice going. <clears throat> That's done. We've got our pork patty shaped like a rib. Let's uh, open that up. Not exactly 100% sure how to do this. You know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to find our barbecue sauce. That's grape jelly. That's uh, peanut butter, so it's right here. I'm going to just dump it in there and uh, kind of mush it around. See where we go from there. <clears throat> Actually, it smells pretty good. Yeah. The barbecue sauce, that is. I can't say as much for the pork patty. Alright, so while we let the barbecue sauce warm up, and also I do realize it looks like shit behind me, so I apologize. Alright, so now we're going to find our little cutout tear. Got that. That was from, ooh, actually it's not bad. The uh, orange beverage powder this is really hot it's almost too hot to hold in my hand but it looks good on the inside so let's uh let's give it a go it's actually pretty good let's have a third party try it the wife in here she's trying a different MRE right now so you've got the MRE pizza what do you think so far so far not bad not bad have you had the pizza part yet no pizza just uh, <laughs> crackers and jalapeno cheese bread 
A jalapeno cheese spread. That sounds pretty good. Hmm. I'm actually pretty surprised. This is um, better than I thought it was going to be. The rice is a uh, good consistency. It's not like having a, an overcooked noodle. You know, it's got a little bit of bite to it. Just how it, you would expect rice. Uh, the black beans are good. Well, hmm. it's cheesy. It's really good. Let's see. What our rib shake rib shaped barbecue flavored pork patty does. I'm just gonna kinda scoot it out. <laughs> it looks like a frickin' McRib. Minus you know, all the goodies, but When I say patty, they're not kidding. It's not like a pork chop. It's like ground pork. Not a whole lot of uh, internal flavor. The barbecue sauce isn't bad. I'd give that a C. A C for an MRE. The rice and beans, that's an A. That's an A for an MRE. Um, as far as the peanut butter and the jelly and the wheat crackers and the beef stick, um, I'm probably going to go put those in my survival kitchen. So I'm not going to be reviewing those today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay. And not bad. All right, you guys have a good day. MRE <clears throat> rib-shaped barbecue beef patty.